Hello, myself Chirak Baloria. Today I have teach you instruction pipeline for computer organization and architecture subject. Uh, in previous video, we already discussed about pipeline techniques. First, uh, pipeline processing can occur in data stream as well as in instruction stream. In this topic, we have discussed about instruction only. An instruction pipeline reads consecutive instruction from memory while previous instruction are being executed in the other in other segment. So it means when one instruction is executed in first segment then uh, forward to second segment at that time a new instruction will comes into first segment this cause the instruction fetch and execute executes phases to overlap and perform simultaneously operations one possible degradation associated with such a scheme is that an instruction may cause a branch out of sequence Next, in that case, the pipeline must be emptied and all the instruction that I have been read from memory after the branch instruction must be discarded. We have uh, discussed about branch instruction later on in this video. So, consider a computer with an instruction fetch unit and an instruction executed unit designed to provide a two segment pipeline. Uh, in this topic, we have discussed about four segment pipeline. So, the instruction fetch segment can be implemented by means of a first in and first out it means FIFO uh, buffer. Next, the buffer acts as a queue from which control then extract, uh, ex extract the instruction for the execution unit. Next, uh, discuss about instruction, instruction cycle for uh, pipelining. The fetch and execute to process an instruction completely. In the most general case, the computer needs to process each instruction with the following sequence of steps. So, following uh, steps are executed instruction cycle of pipeline. First, fetch the instruction from memory. Second step, decode the inst uh, instruction. Third step, calculate the effective address. Fourth step, fetch the operands from memory. Fifth step, execute the instruction. Sixth step, store the result in the proper place. So, these six steps, uh, it means this is the sequence of instruction cycle for pipelining. First, there are certain difficulties that will prevent the instruction pipelining from operating at its maximum rate. If some uh, some segment uh, is faster for operate uh, particular instruction and some is slower, at that time some difficulties were arise. Uh, different segments may take different times to operate on the incoming information. Some segments are skipped for certain operations. Uh, if a multiplication uh, instruction comes to the uh, adder segment at that time skip the uh, skip uh, particular segments the design of an instruction pipeline will be most efficient if the instruction cycle is divided into segment of equal duration so it gives the efficient instruction cycle next the time that each step takes uh, to fulfill its uh, function depends on the instruction and uh, the way it is executed four segment instruction pipeline assume that the decoding of the instruction can be combined with the calculation of the effective address into one segment it means uh, first of all instruction come to the first segment uh, find out the effective address and store in the particular segment assume further that most of the instruction place the result into a processor register so that a instruction execution and storing the result can be combined into one segment. So this is the sequence of particular four segment instruction pipeline. Uh, this reduces the instruction pipeline into four segments. Uh, in first segment, fetch an instruction from memory. In second segment, DA. DA means decode the instruction and calculate the effective address of the operand and store into uh, segment number two. FO, fetch the operand. So uh, whenever uh, segment three is uh, uh, in segment 3, fetch the operand and store the result. And fourth, execute the operation and store the final result in uh, step number 4. Now, assume that the decoding of the instruction can be combined with the calculation of the effective address into one segment. It means first segment. F uh, next figure shows how the instruction cycle in the CPU can be processed with a four segment pipeline. While an instruction is being executed in segment 4, the next instruction in sequence is busy fetching an operand from memory in segment 3. The effective address may be calculated in a separate arithmetic circuit for the third instruction and whenever the memory is available, the fourth and all subsequent instruction can be fetched and placed in an instruction FIFO. Next, thus up to four sub operation in the instruction cycle can overlap and up to four different instruction can be in progress of being 
process at the same time. So all the segment working at same time with different instructions. Now this is the diagram uh, for four segment instruction pipeline. You can show that the uh, flow chart. First fetch instruction from memory. It is the segment number one. Decode instruction and calculate effective address in sequence number two. If branch occurs, if there is no a branch not occurs at that time, segment three will be available for fetch operand from memory. Then execute instruction. It is segment number four. Then again interrupt. No. Then uh, this process is continue. If branch occurs, yes, branch is occurs at that time. Update the program counter empty uh, pipe uh, pipeline. It means rest of the instruction uh, in sequence will be deleted and branch instruction will be the next. So again, this segment one, segment two, segment three, and segment four are executed up to branch is uh, completed. Next, <coughs> this is the uh, timing diagram for instruction pipeline. Figure shows that operation of the instruction pipeline. The time in the horizontal axis is divided into steps of equal duration. You can show that this is the horizontal. This is uh, in 13 uh, uh, total 13 durations. So it is the uh, uh, timing. Next, the four segments are represented in the diagram with an abbreviated symbols. So these all are the abbreviated symbol. This uh, four are the uh, abbreviated symbol to represent a particular instruction. First one is FI means fetch instruction, DA means decode the instruction and calculate the effective address, FO means fetch the operand, EX means execute the operation. It is assumed that the processor has separate instruction and data memory so that the operation in FI and FO can process at the same time. So thus in step 4 instruction 1 is being executed in segment EX. EX means execution of the particular instruction. The operand for instruction 2 is being fetched in segment FO. <coughs> instruction 3 is being decoded in segment DA. So decode the instruction and uh, calculate effective address. And instruction 4 is being fetched from memory in segment FI. Assume now that instruction 3 is a branch instruction. As soon as this instruction is decoded in the segment DA in step 4, the transfer from FI to DA of the other instruction is halted until the branch instruction is executed in step 6. Uh, again, we will discuss about this. This is the simple instruction fetching. 1, 2, 3, and this is the fourth. At that step number 4, the branch instruction will be available at that time. So again, start from FI, DA, FO, and EX. Again, branch instruction is continue execution, FI, DA, FO, EX. So branch instruction is completed in uh, step number 5. So at that time, again, uh, continue from main sequence of the program. If the branch is taken, a new instruction is fetched in step number 7. If the branch is not taken, the instruction fetched previously in step 4 can be used. The pipeline then continue until a new branch instruction is encountered. Another delay may occur in the pipeline if the EX segment needs to store the result of the operation in the data memory while the FO segment needs to fetch an operand. In that case, segment FO must wait until segment EX has finished its operation. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and comment. Subscribe my channel uh, on YouTube, Chirag Balodia. Thank you.